friends and welcome to a new happy learning video. Today, we're going to learn all about the largest animal class on the planet. Introducing the arthropods. The arthropods are invertebrates, meaning they don't have internal skeletons. They are a vast amount of them, including this dancing crab, these dragonflies, this caterpillar, or even all these tiny ants. The arthropods are very different from each other. Or do you think this butterfly and this shrimp have a similarity? Truth is, they don't look alike at all. But yet all arthropods have common characteristics. Arthropod is a Latin word, which means atro, joints, and podos, feet or legs. The main arthropod characteristic refers to what their name suggests. They all have jointed legs. Another fascinating characteristic that they all have in common is that their body is divided into segments, many of which, though not all, are protected by an external skeleton, which is used as a shield or a shell. Some arthropods' bodies do not grow at the same rate as their exoskeleton, therefore making them shed it for a bigger size, a process known as malting. Arthropods can be either terrestrial or aquatic. The terrestrials, such as this scorpion, breathe through their trachea, whereas the aquatic arthropods breathe through their gills. Arthropods eat everything. Some are herbivores, such as this caterpillar. Others, carnivores, like this praying mantis. And others, omnivores, like the wasps, which eat everything. Most arthropods have internal fertilization and are oviparous, meaning they lay eggs to reproduce. Larvas hatch from these eggs and then go through different stages before becoming an adult. The changes is called metamorphosis. As there are so many different types of arthropods, they are classified into four large groups depending on the amount of legs they have. Insects have six legs, such as an ant, flies or those really annoying nets. The arachnids have eight legs, such as spiders or scorpions. Crustaceans have ten legs, like this shrimp or this shy crab. And their neuropods have more than 10 legs and their bodies are elongated, like these caterpillars or these centipedes. Now we're going to remember the most important things. Arthropods are invertebrates and their main characteristics are their jointed legs. Their bodies are divided into segments and they lay eggs to reproduce, meaning they are oviparous. The terrestrial arthropods breathe through their tracheas and the aquatic arthropods through their gills. And they can be either herbivores, carnivores or omnivores. Lastly, and very importantly, you must remember that the arthropods are classified in four groups depending on the amount of legs they have. Insects, six legs. Arachnids, eight legs. Crustaceans, 10 legs. And myropods are those who have more than 10 legs and have elongated bodies. Well, that's everything for today. And now you know a little bit more about arathpods. Until the next video, my friends. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello, friends. Welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Today, 
we're going to meet animals with eight legs and are a little scary. Today, we're going to meet arachnids. Same as insects, arachnids are invertebrates and belong to the arthropods. But don't get confused, arachnids are part of a different animal group than insects. While insects have six legs, arachnids have eight, like you can see in these images. Spiders, scorpions and dust mites are part of the arachnid family and share a number of characteristics that we need to know. They have four pairs of articulated legs, don't have antennae or wings, but do have a pair of clamps by their mouth called chelicera that they use to hold their prey. A fun fact about arachnids is that they can't chew, so they swallow their prey by sucking them in. They suck the soft parts as if with a straw. They're carnivores and spiders and scorpions feed from insects, other arachnids, and sometimes small reptiles and mammals. An arachnid's body is divided in two parts, cephalothorax, consisting of the head and thorax, joined in a single segment, and the abdomen, that can be segmented or not. Arachnids breathe through tracheas or pulmonary sacs, and when they're born, they look the same as they do when they're adults. But of course, they are much smaller. Scorpions are the biggest arachnids. The largest ones can measure up to 20 centimetres. They have huge chelicera in their heads and use them to grab their prey before they inject venom with their sting at the end of their tail. Spiders are the most popular arachnids, but also the scariest. Most of them are venomous, but very few are truly dangerous for human beings. The truth is, spiders are astonishing animals. Also, apart from being able to produce their famous spider web, they are able to hunt their prey in multiple ways. Look, look! Dust mites are the least popular arachnids because they are so small you can't see them at a glance. They are microscopic. But what is true is that they are everywhere. In every house there are thousands and thousands of dust mites. Well, now we know a little more about arachnids. The truth is they're very strange and mysterious animals. But they're important for the balance of life for this marvellous life. Goodbye friends, see you next time and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.